Well, good evening, adventurers from Delaware. Or maybe it's the North Pole. I'm not sure. <laughs> it's so cold here. Whoa, we. Yeah, we are probably below <laughs> freezing most nights now. Well, we've run into a bit of an issue this evening. We had a lot of work to catch up on, so we were just working away in a Starbucks, and now it is almost 8 p.m., and I didn't book us a spot for the night. So, we're just gonna find ourselves a rest area and pull over there. We have never stayed overnight at a rest area and Delaware has exactly two of them to choose from. So it was pretty easy to narrow it down. There's one just a few miles from here. In below freezing temperatures, below it's gonna make it a little bit worse. <laughs> yeah, we keep finding ourselves in the coldest of weather doing the dumbest of things in it. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get inside. Yeah, come on in. <laughs> have to have diesel to survive the night for our heater and the pumps are all completely closed there's caution tape around it somebody murdered all of the pumps i guess uh, what, what about heck? on the other side though maybe on the other side yeah. well so they have a pump on the other side and that one is blocked or roped off as well well this night is not off to a great start <laughs> yeah. we thought we were just gonna come here fill up our diesel and then park for the night and it was gonna be that, but no diesel is to be found here. So now we have to go find some place down the road. Oh my gosh. And now it's almost nine o'clock. I'm so hungry. I just wanna I stop and be in my jammies and eat pizza. Found a gas station right down the road, but it's too tight for the rig to get in. Yeah, I don't know. There's just a huge SUV parked perfectly that I so that I can't fit between it and the pump. Yeah, so. and we, we don't want to get stuck in a sticky situation. So if there's any doubt, we usually just don't do it. <laughs> but uh, we are down to a quarter tank in our front and back. And if you guys have been following along with us for a while, you know that that's bad news bears because our diesel is prone to dying if our fuel level gets too low. We're making great time. Woohoo! Just kidding. We broke down. <laughs> We're on the side of the road. A familiar sight for us. It's going to be fine. <laughs> Oh, why can't we just have one nice random rest area stay? The question is, where the heck is the diesel pump? Ah, there it is on the end. <laughs> Still a tight squeeze though, it always is. Oh, give me that sweet diesel. All right, our little uh, diesel heater tank is full, so that should last the night for sure. Both gas tanks are full, <laughs> we're good to go. <laughs> yeah, now can I go get in my jammies, please? See a camper van, that's probably a good sign. Yeah. All right, so it's looking like this is gonna be our spot. We took up a bunch of them, but it's pretty much empty here. The only other RV or camper van is this guy right here, so. Hopefully we don't walk out to a full parking lot in the morning, but I imagine it's only gonna get more and more sparse as the night goes on. I'm yeah. feeling okay about it. All right, home sweet, parking lot home. <laughs> Y'all, we have a bit of a problem. This switch isn't working. This is a very important switch. It controls the lights inside the RV. <laughs> it's this fancy little touch switch and it is not responding at all. And this is actually the one for the lights outside and that's not working either. The other switches are working, but these two are not. <laughs> this could be a bit of a problem because this, we can press this button to turn the battery off, which will turn all the lights off, but then it'll turn the heater off because that runs on 12 volt and on diesel. So then we won't have any heat. So it's either lights on, and heat or lights off and we freeze to death. <laughs> yeah, so clearly we're gonna have to keep the lights on. <laughs> the fuse panel is actually right here and I was trying to mess with these, but you can't just pull these fuses out. They have some fancy little like mechanism that pops out when it trips. I think you have to take this whole face plate off and stuff. <laughs> We're not about to go messing no. with that and try to start a RV fire in the middle of this parking lot. Yeah. So uh, I don't like working on rigs other than our own because I built all the electrical system in that and I understand all of it. I don't understand what the hell is going on behind these walls. So uh, I'm not touching that. <laughs> okay, I've been fiddling with it for quite a while now. I have not been able to figure it out. So this is our plan. We're gonna go into the little travel center that we're staying at and maybe see if we can find some face masks or something just to block out the light while we're sleeping. <laughs> what a stupid, stupid thing to yeah, happen. Yeah, that's pretty dumb. And I guess, you know, if it comes down to it, we could hang something in these cabinets that like drapes <laughs> down and just our heads will be in the darkness. Could that work? Okay, anyway, we need water as well. We're all out of water. So we're gonna head in there and see what we can find. <laughs> 
we are actually at the uh, Delaware Welcome Center. It's actually named after Joe Biden. He's from Delaware. I actually they... didn't know that until today. <laughs> yeah, but they, I guess, they named this after him. What a, what a wonderful thing to have named after you. Yeah, but one of the reasons we want to stay here is because they have this whole little plaza area with all these shops. There's a Starbucks right over there, mm -hmm. which we will be partaking of tomorrow morning. Mm -hmm. We're kind of hoping that they have eye masks so we can uh, sleep without lights on our face all night. <laughs> we also have to get some water because we are bone dry right now. Do you think these will work instead? Oh yeah, definitely. I forgot I have my glasses on, but do <laughs> I look really cool? Can you see any light? What, Eric, where did you go? Oh my <laughs> gosh. Y'all, they have magnets. So we're gonna go ahead and get our Delaware magnet here. Nice, that one's and cool. Our... Oh, that's Philadelphia. Yeah, every now and then we forget to get a stay and we get it in the next one, but it's close enough, right? I am like a yeah, Mr. Krabby Pants here. Oh yeah, here. we both have the same taste in magnets. <laughs> <laughs> the goofiest and wilder, the better. Does he have good eyeballs? He's got good, kind of sad eyes. Well, at least something's working out. Well, believe it or not, they did not have uh, jugs of water at that uh, little uh, welcome center, so. We're heading across the street to the gas station that didn't have any gas to see if we can get a couple jugs of water to survive the night. <laughs> <laughs> they also didn't have eye masks, but I guess I'm not very surprised by that. Yeah, that was a long shot. <laughs> but maybe we'll uh, get lucky over here? I don't know. Oh, we're gonna get lucky, all right. <laughs> all right. Look what I found. <gasps> no way! I found an, an eye mask in my bag. <laughs> You're gonna be a gentleman and let me wear it, right? Absolutely not. Dang it. I'm just kidding. Maybe you have one hidden somewhere. You know, I'm thinking and really, really hoping that I do. Well, our dinner is served. We elevated our pizza a little bit, added some pepperoni, some cheeky basil on there. Mm -hmm. Makes oh. all the difference. Yeah, I will say though, this is one of the saddest little gluten-free pizzas that we've gotten. Trader Joe's, I expected so much more from you. But we're gonna spice it up with this. This has been our jam. Got it from Vermont. This is the best sauce for pizza I think that we've ever encountered. But it's almost empty. What are we gonna do? Internet, save us. Hopefully we can find it on there and, and, and continue eating deliciously. <laughs> Her brain doesn't work so good at night. I'm very frustrated, y'all. I really thought this was gonna be an easy night. I thought we would just pull up, we found a spot immediately, but now our lights don't work. There was a whole like diesel fiasco. Yeah, and I'm a little stressed out about not having enough power to last the night because now we have to leave all these lights on and stuff. And if that power goes out, the diesel goes out. Good thing we got some body heat going in here, right? Oh yeah, all I need is that body heat. Ooh, like from me doing jumping jacks? Yeah. Diesel heater's pumping there. Should be good to go heat-wise. Nice and toasty in here. Got my mask here. I couldn't find my mask, so I have a mask, not an eye mask. <laughs> but this is uh, my plan. <laughs> we actually do this on planes all the time. I don't, you do, because yeah, do. it looks really crazy. You can try this eye mask if you want. Don't pawn off your shitty eye mask on me. He was it just is. complaining about how bad it was. Yeah, it's not good at all. <laughs> <laughs> do I look cool though? Oh, so the way this welcome center is laid out, there's parking lots all over the place with various little service stations all around. But there's just so much freaking parking that uh, we managed to find kind of a corner to ourselves. And there's just a few other cars around us. No one's been coming or going. It's been pretty peaceful. We've also got our little power bank here that we're charging everything through just to make sure we use as little power as possible. We should be okay through the night, I think. I think it'll be fine. And it's not horribly bright in here. I mean, it's unpleasant, but hopefully we'll sleep well enough. Well, regardless of all the setbacks, I am very happy that we are spending zero dollars tonight. Yeah, that feels that, really good. That is nice. <laughs> and it seems a little quiet out there, like maybe the quietest parking lot we've been in. So I also like that. But it is now midnight, y'all, and I'm so tired. So we're going to go to bed. Good night. Well, you got to put it on them the other way. Oh, yeah. Good night. <laughs> Well, I'm gonna be honest with y'all, that was not one of the best nights of sleep I've ever had. In fact, it was the worst one I've had in this RV, for sure. Really? Yeah. Oh no, I didn't sleep well either, but I thought you did sleep well, did No, you? no, I didn't. <laughs> I think having this eye mask on just and the lights on just made me feel like I was on an airplane and I don't sleep on airplanes. <laughs> I did fall asleep a couple times, but I just kept waking up. This definitely hurt my ears a lot. And then yeah. I would see the lights and I think it would kind of reset my head. Otherwise though, 
it was a very quiet night. I heard a dog bark once in the night and that was it. I did have some pretty bizarre dreams. I don't know if it's just because uh, we're at a bit of an angle and maybe all the blood was rushing to our heads or something. I did kept waking up panicking, thinking that like I could feel the blood pooling in my head. So I had to pile <laughs> all my pillows up. It was also a little too warm, believe it or not. <laughs> yeah, definitely didn't need a sweater and these freaking fleece pants. Yeah, that diesel heater works good. How's my hair looking? You good? Oh God, I don't even want to yeah. know. It's funny that I would not go outside looking like however I'm looking right now, but I will talk to thousands of you looking like this. All right, time to get up. So it looks like we've only used, we're, we're down a little bit lower than 50% of our battery, so. That's nice, we can survive with half of our lights on and our heat blasting. Yeah, it's not bad. Speaking of, we're gonna go ahead and turn the batteries off for now, because we have not been getting much solar because it's been overcast. <laughs> Anyways, we have a very long drive ahead of us, like five hours. So we gotta hit the road. Let's hit it. Let's hit it. Slap it. Okay. <laughs> this gets weirder every time it seems like. I don't know what to do. You All just right. leave the camera on me. So yeah, this that's what's the gonna, beauty of it. Yeah, this is what you get. Have you looked yet at how much diesel we used? I have not. Let's take a look. Oh, uh -huh, not too bad. We used up half, it looks like. Yeah. <laughs> well, we had it blasting pretty good, so that's actually not so bad. If you keep it on the one or two setting, you usually only use about this much in a night. Well, we are well into our drive. Actually making decent time. I thought we were kind of running behind because we had to get a video up, but. Decent time for once. I know, we're back on track. So as you know, we started this morning in Delaware at the rest stop, and we have just driven straight through Maryland and entered Virginia. We are actually on our way to Lynchburg, Virginia, which should be a pretty adorable little town. And we have booked ourselves an Airbnb. Yes, we are getting ourselves out of the cold trailer <laughs> and into a warm, very cool, very unique space. Hey, did you tell them that you were born in Maryland? Oh yes, fun fact. I was born in Silver Spring, Maryland. I guess I only lived there for like a year or two before I moved to the Midwest, so I have no memories or anything. And I was not conceived there or anything, so. <laughs> What's more important, where you were born or conceived? <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's just us and the open road. Lynchburg, here we come. <laughs> Well, we've made it to Lynchburg, and I don't think we realized we were gonna be smack downtown, basically. <laughs> I mean, we're on cobblestone streets with this rig. <laughs> All right, here's the situation. We gotta back this thing down there. The Airbnb's down there, and we should be able to park on the street. Do you wanna stay out here and guide me? Yeah, I'll do that. I think yeah. you can handle it, right? It's kind of a blind turn right there, so I just wanna make sure I don't get hit there, but other than that, it should be, well, we'll be good to go. Yeah, just go slow. Okay, confirming, no cars. I don't know why, just going in the straight line with this thing is hard. You can't, we don't have the big mirrors, you can't see Jack on either side. Oh, <laughs> well, you did it, it's perfectly is that good enough? The Yeah, okay, all right, works for me. Parking brake on, all the brakes on, because we're kind of an incline here. <laughs> Three steps of safety. Parking brake on the truck, parking brake on the trailer, and our trusty little triangles. <laughs> so we don't go flying off into the water down there. <laughs> yeah, if you go flying off, I mean, it is just a sheer cliff right past there, so we don't want that. So we have officially arrived in Lynchburg and this town is much bigger and cooler looking than I thought. For some reason I thought it was really tiny, but it looks huge coming in. Yeah, pretty excited to see it. I know, we are definitely walking distance to the downtown though, so we'll be exploring it in the next video. And we'll also be giving you a look inside of this Airbnb that is right behind us that we're not gonna show you right now, but there it's is- definitely one of the more unique ones we've stayed in. <laughs> yeah, it, it has to do, there's a behind us. So it's it's something to do with that. That's giving up too much. That's I'm gonna blur. Much. I'm gonna bleep out whatever you just said so okay. they don't know. <laughs> <laughs> There's a beep yard. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but it's cold, so we're gonna unpack real quickly and get in for the night. Yes. Okay. Yep. Goodbye, adventurers. We'll see you on the road. <laughs>